Public school was a nightmare. We'd been pulled out of a co-op, and within six weeks, my son had regressed in behaviors. So district offered us several options, and um, one of them was Claire Woods Academy. When I walked into the building, we came in, I had my son in hand, and everyone was smiling, the kids were milling around, and it was such a warm feeling. When you walk into the building, um, I just knew it felt like a home. For nearly 40 years, Claire Woods Academy has educated mentally handicapped and learning disabled children at their facility in Bartlett, Illinois. Founded by the Sisters of St. Joseph, Claire Woods Academy today serves students from about 50 school districts across the greater Chicago region. The needs of each child are different, ranging from mental retardation to other more specific educational challenges. We have a very large artistic population here. The autistic children seem to be mostly in the primary department and we're starting to see it filter more towards the older kids, but there's definitely a prominence right now of the autistic child. Claire Woods Academy accepts students as young as three and as old as 21. After an evaluation, members of the faculty develop an individual educational plan tailored to the student's specific academic ability. Because of this diversity of need, Claire Woods Academy provides dedicated paraprofessionals or teacher's aides to the primary level. My class is like a combination of a one-room schoolhouse and homeschooling. In a one-room schoolhouse, you're dealing with a first grader or a third grader and an eighth grader. So you might be teaching addition and subtraction to the third grader, but you're teaching Shakespeare to the older child. Another element that contributes to the success of Claire Woods Academy is the highly sophisticated occupational therapy program. Our commitment here at Claire Woods to the occupational therapy department is very unique. This is more like a clinic type of atmosphere, which is so wonderful because we can do so many different things with our kids. We address fine motor skills, gross motor skills, and sensory integration. At Claire Woods Academy, teachers are trained to recognize issues that are sometimes misunderstood as behavior problems. If a student needs to work through a physical, emotional, or sensory issue, a therapist will help them something many new students are unaccustomed to based upon their own mainstream school experience. And they said, Jack, what, you know, what do you think is gonna happen here? And well, you're gonna call my mom and you're gonna send me home. And I said, no, we, we wanna work with you. What is going to help you right now? Do you need to go swing? Do you need to go jump? Um, do you need to go run? Do you need to climb? What do you need to do? What, what does your body need? And they said his jaw dropped. That was kind of the turning point for him, that it's like, they're not gonna send me home every time I melt, that they, they wanna help me. And, and he understands that. I think of a little girl that came in last year who spent most of the day playing in the sandbox, and they could not get her to participate in anything. So when she first came, it was very difficult. There was a lot of screaming, but I think the aide that's working with her uh, has just tried, she's bent over backwards to try to, to meet this little girl's needs. So I think there's that working together here, uh, people trying to help one another do what's best for that child. And I think that's kind of what really makes this, this place so special. For older students, Claire Woods Academy concentrates on developing life skills and job training through the vocational program. They usually start out here in, here in the work center. Uh, working on either simulated jobs or jobs that we get from the community brought into the school uh, in assembly, packaging, collating, that sort of thing. They are the most dedicated employee you'd probably find. I think they have learned um, great work skills, um, great work habits um, that just will follow them in their adult life. They're built from the ground up here, basically. We, we instill uh, character counts, character traits from G1 that last all the way up to the high school and vocational department. Uh, the ultimate goal is to turn out productive citizens in their community. The nicest thing about this place is these kids are able to be kids. They have a prom, they have a Christmas program, they have a spring play that they are all invited to participate in. These are things that they would never 
be afforded in any other situation. I think a good example of that is that ever since she's been at Clearwood, she's been in these school plays, and every year they give her a part in these plays, and progressively she's gotten more responsibility in these plays, she's got a bigger roles that she's played, and uh, she really looks forward to those, and it gives her something to be proud of. But an era is ending for Claire Woods Academy. Soon, the building that once housed the Sisters of St. Joseph will become part of a continuing care retirement community. To ensure that the mission of Claire Woods Academy continues, the Board of Directors has launched a capital campaign to build a new modern school. Well, the building we're in right now has really worn out its usefulness. For example, we just got the internet this year into classrooms. The new Claire Woods Academy will feature more classrooms to serve more students, be compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act, and provide centralized office services that will help improve security. The new school will feature a new multi-purpose auditorium for school plays, music programs, and other social functions. An improved gymnasium to offer better physical education and recreation. And modernize the facility to better serve Clarewood students. We have a unique situation. We don't have a large alumni base like other schools do have. So we need the donors more than ever in order for us to carry out a mission that we've had for nearly 40 years. My stepping up as chair of the capital campaign is first to say thank you to Claire Woods Academy for what you've done for my son. In order to continue to be successful here at Claire Woods Academy, your contributions are important to the development of the programs that we have earmarked for the future. Programs that would be adequate to teaching the youth and the young adults things that would help them to be self-sufficient in the future. I believe in this program, but most importantly, I believe that this school is vital to this community and deserves to be here for another 40 years. Everybody knows that uh, if you've got a, a child in, in Clare Woods, you're, you're very, a very lucky person. Clare Woods, I, I know I can have faith in the teachers. I can have faith in the fact that my son is learning every day. Um, I don't have to worry anymore. It would be an absolute travesty if something happened to the school. I know for sure that they love and care for my son every day, that he is learning much more than I, much more than I expected. There are a lot of schools that are trying to build a program around things that we have had for a number of years. But what makes this program work is the fact that we're all in it together. The love, the nurture they get at this school is something that even I would want now, and they get it on an everyday basis. Where would we be without Claire Woods? Um, wow, I, I don't know.